Hey everyone, my name is Reed, and we're here. This is going to be week number two of the APA D League, and I just took a bunch of NyQuil, so we're going to try to get through this one. But uh, you can see the matchup right here. Uh, a really super scary team. He does have a Snorlax, which I know is going to be so difficult to break through, as well as a Pile of Swine, a Golbat, a Crocodile, a super fat team on its own, but then the Manaphy in the back, which uh, obviously I've been 6 0 by. But I do like my own team as well. My Greninja does have Low Kick. Um, I believe my Landorus might have superpower for if I remember correctly, but uh, I am trying to do the most for what's in front of me, but it's going to be a really difficult matchup no matter what. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a super fat matchup, and for every Mon that I think can really uh, sit in there and do some work against his team, he does have relatively good answers for me and he does end up leading off with a snorlax and i thought my delphox was going to be a pretty good all-around lead here i was very afraid of the snorlax of course um i almost didn't want to click will wisp but i did I, I felt like i had to turn one uh because i was so afraid of um boosting his facades and i don't know if he predicted this but he goes facade turn one and it just does so much damage but we take it okay we do get some leftovers back i I'm pretty sure I built a reasonably bulky uh, Delphox. I wanted to get some burns off. I wanted to um, switch around and just kind of be a nuisance. And I wanted to deal with a Golbat as well. I was hoping to get a Psy Shock off on that Golbat as well. But, oh, and the Spear Tomb. I wanted to be able to deal with that. But I end up uh, expecting a Facade. So I switch out into the um, Delmize. Now, I think he read... I assume that he read me trying to go for a... Trying to go into the Landorus and get an Intimidate on top of the burn, but uh, the Delmize was the better option. It did kind of wall his facades, and I could get a feel for his um, moveset a little bit more, but the fact that he went for the Ice Punch thought made me think that I could go for the knockoffs right away. Uh, I expected him to want to switch out in that situation, but even if he didn't, um, just being able to knock off what I would have assumed at this point would have been a berry uh, was going to be huge. So, I'm, I'm able to switch around. Uh, like I said, my goal was to hope to get a side shock off on, on a goal bat, but especially now that it's knocked off, but I but I ended up eating a toxic from the incoming Delphox. Now, I end up uh, expecting something else to come in, and I try to hit the Dazzling Gleam. Oh no, this was only because I kind of thought that he would go into uh, something that resists, something that would be able to take a side shock uh, better. I should have just gone for the Sash Shock. So I went for the Dazzling Gleam. That was my only real coverage option. He did have a Spear Tomb on his roster, so I was really worried about that matchup. And I ended up just doing going for the Dazzling Gleam. It doesn't do a whole heck of a lot, but it will allow me to switch out. And right now, I'm super afraid of any type of um, Z Rain Dance set. I think Z Rain Dance just straight up beats my team, so I, I don't quite know what to do about that yet, but. For right now, at the very least, I know that he's going to think it's too early to, to do that, especially with the Tauros in the back, possibly Scarfed, all that jazz. I end up going into the Greninja, and uh, I expected him to want to switch out, but he just uh, stays in as I go for the U-turn. So now, I have, probably might have to take a Fat Scald, I might have to take like a Dazzling Gleam, and Ice Beam, I, I don't know. But yeah, I felt like this was going to be the best overall play. He does end up going for the Calm Mind, which yeah, I did not expect in the moment. I did not expect a Calm Minding Manaphy. But that Calm Mind made me even more afraid of a possible Z Rain Dance set. Uh, so right now, I'm just trying to feel this out. But I believe I did do the Calcs. And even at plus one, Delmize should take an Ice Beam. So I was confident enough staying in and going for the Power Whip. And I think he, uh, he realized that at around the same time that I did. So he just ends up switching out. And I could not risk this at all. I had to go for the Power Whip. I could not mess around with going for Knockoff again or any type of other... Um, nonsense i had to click it even though he had a four times resist in the back so with that i end up switching out again and i go into the landorus um this was just kind of an all-purpose switch in i didn't think that he was gonna knock me up well i i know that i knew that he wasn't gonna knock me off which is what i was which was what i was most afraid of because this is a max attack adamant scarfed um landorus and i knew it was gonna be huge for the rest of the match so I just uh, eat up a hit and you turn out, which again, I was surprised that he stayed in, but he does stay in again, but it does allow me to go into my Tauros. Now I know my Tauros is a big heavy hitter. I know my Tauros is going to be my best chance at getting big chunks of damage off on this thing at one given time. And um, that's the opportunity that I take. 
He's gonna want to switch out though which totally fair but he goes into the pile of swine a little bit surprising because uh at least the Golbat could have roosted off the damage but Golbat lost his EV light he probably took he probably thought this thing could take hits a whole lot better but this Tauros is just so so strong it is um sheer force life orb which is kind of unfortunate because again now it does hurt my chances against a Z, Z rain dance uh mana theme but he takes an, an opportunity to get his rocks up uh, I could have just stayed in, gone for Body Slam twice, and uh, that would have been pretty beneficial for me, but he would have switched out either way. Regardless, I take this opportunity because I didn't think that he would want to stay in to go for a Super Fang. I kind of felt that the Golbat would, would want to come in, but regardless, even if it's against the Pilot Swine, Golbat, uh, this was going to do the most damage against that Pilot Swine as well with the Super Fang. So, he ends up being able to roost off all that damage, and... I kind of felt that coming, so I, I take that opportunity to go for the heal bell, put my Tauros, take the take my Tauros off of the timer, and um, my Delphox as well. So now I'm in an okay position. I switch out, I go back into my Delphox because honestly, I expected this thing to want to click Toxic in this situation, and I really was just kind of uh, sacking this off. I knew that rocks were gonna be a huge pain in the ass for this game, but. This was going to allow me to get the free switch into my Landorus, and I know the fact that um, I brought this in reasonably aggressively would make him want to switch out, so uh, I try to take this as an opportunity. I believe, yeah, I just clicked South Rocks here. I felt like I could scare out a, a, a goal bet any time like, you just get yourself a free switch in. Um... I feel like it puts doubt in the back of people's heads just to make them think that you have something, but I was scarfed into Stealth Rocks, so I was never going to really do anything, but at the same time, I felt like Stealth Rocks in this situation were was important, even if I had to take another Air Slash or take another hit somewhere along the line, I felt like the trade-off was worth it. He ends up going into the Snorlax, which uh, does let me go back into my Delmise, and uh, Ice Punch is not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage, but... Right now, in, in, right now in this situation, um, I did kind of feel that he was going to want to switch out again. I felt like this was going to be my opportunity to want to rapid spin, get get rid of the rocks on my side, and hopefully I can put, enough, put on enough pressure that um, I could prevent him from getting off his. I did, honest to God, expect the, the defog here. I 100% thought that he was going to defog here. And I thought that, that was going to give me a free opportunity to go into my uh, M'Baku again. But he just goes straight up for the Air Slash. I think right now he's probably feeling that uh, this Delmise is going to be important for me to win the rest of this match. But he ends up going back into this Pile of Swine. And after some Rocks damage, and after again, Body Slam is doing just so much damage. This is Sheer Force Life Orb Stab Body Slam. And, it's, and Pile of Swine is a legit wall in uh, draft format. And we're just doing so much damage, so we were able to break a huge, huge wall in this matchup. And I'm really hoping my voice doesn't crack again, but I'm feeling decent about my positioning. And now he goes into the Crocodile. I see that it's not Intimidate. So obviously, the first thing you think about is Scarf Moxie, right? So here, I really just wanted to test out and be sure that this thing was going to be Scarfed moxie and i just eat the knockoff i knew that the knockoff had to come because uh the lander switching was too much of a threat and i felt reasonably confident enough that it was going to be scarf moxie that um i ended up pulling a double and this was a super aggressive double but it was one that i felt like i really had to make because uh obviously i knew that i couldn't touch the gold bat i felt that the gold bat was going to come in it did come in and it allows me to go into my tauros for free and my tauros just so much damage. I know that it threatens a KO uh, to a Golbat in this range. And uh, I did have to calc it out without the, without the EV light and all that jazz. But uh, I had to be super duper sure that Body Slam is going to KO. And of course it did. <coughs> and now he brings in the Latios for free. Uh, it does take the Rocks damage. And I felt in this moment that I was able to let this thing go down. And I do so much damage with that Body Slam. I force him into Draco, which is going to put him in a super awkward position. Because now... Um, Whatever sit this this Latios is, it's going to be a uh, pretty handicapped at this point. I will be able to um, pivot around probably, 
Oh, in this moment, I had to decide whether I wanted to go into Landorus and you turn into my Greninja or go into Greninja and you turn into my Landorus. But I believe at this point I had I had not yet revealed Scarf. So uh, I felt like my Greninja was going to be the better option in this situation uh, to, to hopefully not reveal Scarf if I don't have to, first of all. But also, um, just kind of mess around a little bit. I felt like... Also, I felt like Landers just had a better overall matchup against the rest of his team, especially now that the Pilus one is gone and the Golbat is gone. His two biggest defensive checks to this thing are um, now not in the picture. So now, uh, I do get into in my Landers, which does allow me to reveal Scarf in this moment with a, again, adamant adamant max attack U-turn. And I felt like whatever he was going to do, it uh, my Greninja was going to be a pretty free squish in. So I do go into my Greninja. Uh, you turning into my Greninja, and and I can judge a lot based on that uh, U-turn damage. I believe what I determined was that it's just max HP, uh, mana fee. It's not max HP, um, max defense or anything like that. Oh, and I do U-turn in this situation as well. But what that told me, what that allowed me to calc out was, in this end game, if the mana fee is uh right around half, then scarfed, uh, max attack adamant earthquake for my Landorus. Those right around 50%, uh, give or take, I could get a super low roll and completely mess everything up. But uh, as long as I can keep that mana fee under half for the end game, then Landorus can clean up uh, every time. And I'm talking a lot over this because uh, this is going to be a theme. I do miss a power whip. He gets a berry, which is obnoxious on its own. But uh, now that I can see that this thing is a scarf or scarf that this thing is a recycle berry set um i'm just getting concerned at this point because anything could happen at this point he could ice punch himself into a freeze and i really just want to take this thing out but at this point I, I i will say at this point i knew that i had him a little bit trapped because he really can't switch out because as long as i continually click power whip um the two remaining mons that he has in the back are the crocodile <coughs> and the mana fee so nothing can switch into this um power whip which means that this is going to give my delmize the best opportunity to 1v1 the snorlax he is kind of trapped in here with me and if he does want to switch out he severely uh risks his crocodile and or mana fee so i just have to stay the course i know that i have a pretty free opportunity to just stay in here and do what I can against the Snorlax. I have to win this 1v1, obviously, and I can't get frozen, which is giving me a lot of anxiety because I am missing a good amount of power whips at this point. But he is burned. He can't really do anything. He can't facade me. All he can do is Ice Punch me, and we can see how much Ice Punch is doing. But also, uh, the big important thing is that if he does take a turn to Recycle, it does actually allow me to get a free turn of Leftovers, and it looks like, judging based off of this damage, that Leftovers... Uh, two turns of leftovers is pretty much canceling out his ice punches, so I am getting at a decent amount of HP as long as I can um, force him, do enough damage to force him into uh, recycling every so often. And um, it's super frustrating because um, honestly, also at, at one point, I, I don't know if it's coming up or if it already happened, but at one point, I guess I don't really know how recycle works, but I, in my mind, I thought if I knock off the berry, then he can't recycle it, but apparently he can, so that felt like a waste of turn. Oh, I think it's right here. I, I knew that he was going to, I knew that he was going to try to recycle. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's because I clicked knock off, uh, after the berry was already consumed. Okay. So maybe I messed that up. I probably just messed that up. Or, no, I know, okay, I think, okay, this is the turn. What happened here was, I thought if I clicked Rapid Spin, then uh, I could keep this thing just above 50%, not pop the berry, and threaten a KO with Power Whip if I can land it. But the burn takes him just under 50%, and that's going to allow him to get all the way up to pretty much full. After the burn, it's going to be a, a little bit dicey, but I'm just missing so many Power Whips. I was legitimately counting power whips at the time, and um, in DMs with uh, Randy HLD and uh, in Vivid Color, I was counting them off. I missed three out of six power whips. Then it was uh, four out of eight, and I think all told, I landed five out of ten power whips by the time the Snorlax finally does go down. 
Spoiler alert, the, it, it does go down eventually. And I think he's now worried about his Ice Punch PP because he starts going for Fire Punch. I don't know what that's about, but regardless, um, I do eventually take this thing down. But again, it takes over 10 turns because I just missed so many Power Whips. I landed five freaking Power Whips. But uh, my only saving grace is that Power Whip was consist consistently doing over 50%. It, I, I could rely on it to do more than 50%. And uh, this might be the turn where it finally goes down after all this trying. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So even more of this uh, has to go on. This was my morning. Also, this match was played uh, for me at like 8 in the morning. And uh, I think my opponent's Australian. So um, I was fine to accommodate, especially because um, I was not great about scheduling this match. But uh, it was brutal for me. It was a brutal morning for me. I was just trying to, to to keep in this match, and um, I was doing what I could. I was honestly doing what I could, but this allows him to go into the Crooked Out. And I was kind of confused by this because I didn't really understand what he could do because I still had the Grand Bull and the Landorus in the back, so no matter what um, he scarfed himself into, I could go into the other and basically counter this and Cycle Intimidates if I wanted to. <clears throat> So, I, I wasn't too, too sure about this, but, like I said, it does allow me to go into my Grand Bowl, get the Intimidate off, and um, just get a Play Rough off, because uh, even if he did switch out, I wanted to get the damage off on the Mana Fame, keep it as low as possible, as the Mana Fame goes for Rain Dance. So, this was concerning, but again, I knew that my end game was keep the Mana Fame under 50%. And no matter what, I felt like if I just kept attacking, even if he takes me out, all, my only goal is under 50%. And then Landorus clicks EQ and wins. That's my only thinking here. And then he reveals rest. And I am so extremely afraid. Oh, also, another point. He, he clicks Rain Dance. It wasn't Z Rain Dance. I was immediately relieved because uh, I saw Rain Dance and I got super scared, but... And of course, like, I saw all match long that this thing was left over to Manaphy, but still. Um, I still have PTSD about freaking Raindance Manaphy 6 0 me. But, regardless, this is going to allow me to just kind of sit here, click uh, Super Fang over and over again, keep this thing below 50%, and I should win, even if I do have to give up the Grand Bowl. I don't, I'm not in a position to make any type of reads, and then I miss a dang Super Fang. So, in this moment, I'm thinking, I could still lose to a Miss Super Fang. That could be how I lose this match. After all of those Miss Power Whips, I could still lose this match. But he has a flicking rest, and I do land a Super Fang. And he's going to wake up at the end of this turn because of hydration. So, it's going to be what it is. I'm just trying to... Again, keep this thing below 50%, and right now it's looking super iffy because it might just be healthy enough to kind of take this, so I am super, super concerned at this point, but the rain does stop. It's not going to be given a chance to rest again, and at this point, I'm thinking I'm okay because no matter what happens, even if the landers does miss out on the KO, it's not going to be able to uh, click rest for free. It has to set up the rain first, so after I saw that rain stop, my... My uh, anxiety kind of lifted a little bit. Uh, I do end up clicking U-turn because I wasn't confident enough in that uh, roll yet at this point. And I do just uh, U-turning into this thing. I, I fully expected this thing to click uh, Ice Beam, even though I don't think it, it's even a real Ice Beam at this point. I think it's just, uh, what, Scald, Scald, Calm Mind, Rest, Rain Dance. So yeah, it couldn't have Ice Beam anyway. So I guess this is a misplay, but I but I U-turned uh, into my Delmize, and at this point, as long as I can land one last Power Whip, I win this match. I think uh, because if this, if I gave this thing extra turns, I could have just choked the game away by uh, allowing this thing to rain dance and rest up for free. Thankfully, I land Power Whips, and I we end up winning this match. Uh, this was a super stressful match. I really wish uh, this match wasn't as long as it was, but my Delmize will land its shots uh, in the coming weeks. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. 
regardless this was a lot of fun i felt like uh this is kind of a lot of the pot potential of this team i underrated the heck out of granbull i love this granbull uh landers combination and i've always loved the toro scrimmage co combination that t'challa and baku combination as just offensive breakers that can really do so much work and then of course i've always loved del fox and del mize this uh team i feel really good about i feel really comfortable with it and um i think a lot of this team is going to make it to playoffs if we do make it there but uh with that i'm barely holding it together so thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon with one week to the aba as well as other stuff in the coming future but once again with that thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna be once again out